Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the first in a series of videos I'm hoping to do of Sudoku problems. Um, these will be a series of videos where the goal isn't to complete the grid, but to fill out the yellow squares where you can. So um, hopefully with this series, we can present some interesting bits where people can learn some um, simple Sudoku tricks or simple logic. So um, the way this puzzle will work is I'm not, uh, this series will work is I'm not going to explain the rules. The rules will be in the puzzle, which will be linked below. And hopefully what you can do is you can go through and then just fill out the yellow squares in the grid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest that you pause the video, try and figure it out. There'll be a link to the grid below where you can try it. And then um, I will give you a few seconds and then I'm going to explain how this one works. Okay, so hopefully this one was fairly easy. This is basically an introduction to a common arrow technique. So the way this works is um, because on the arrows in box five, um, there are five cells in box five that you have to place digits in, the minimum you could put into these are one, two, three, four, and five, which sum to 15. And therefore these have to sum to a minimum of 15, but we can't put a nine into either of those. So the maximum we could put into those is seven and eight, which sums to 15, which is the minimum we could put into here. So these have to be seven and eight eight, but we cannot put a seven into column five. So this becomes an eight and this becomes a seven. Now, the question we need to ask ourselves is what is this cell? Well, we cannot put a seven in here. We can't put a seven on a seven arrow. And if we were to put a seven onto an eight arrow, it would have to go with two digits at some, or on a three cell eight arrow, it would have to go with two digits at sum to one, which is not going to work. So this becomes a seven, and that is the solution to the first arrow problem. This is designed to be an easy one. I will try and release more of these, and some of them will be harder than this. Um, I've got a few possible ones to release, but hopefully you find this series interesting. Um, and please let me know if you think this is a good idea or not. Thanks, everyone. Good luck with your solving.